Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this bodycon stripe mini skirt. So this is what it looks like. So the size of this skirt is size small and the length is 14 and a half inches by 15 inches. So I use two different colors. You can use any color of your choice. So without any further ado, let's start with the tutorial. I'm going to use two colors of yarn. I'm using Alice Cotton Gold and this is a lightweight yarn in color white and color 390. I'm also going to use two sizes of crochet hook. I'm going to use 3 millimeter crochet hook and also 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Also, we're going to need later tape measure, yarn needle, and cutter. So we're going to begin by measuring our hips. Mine is 35 inches but I'm only gonna chain 32 inches. So 32 inches using three millimeter crochet hook is equivalent to 170 chains. But if you want to follow the 35 inches, I have the number of chain on my screen and also for other sizes. So go ahead and measure your hips and that will be your foundation chain. So after you completed your chain for your skirt, now you're gonna make a slip stitch. So put your hook on your first chain, like so, and make a slip stitch. Just to make sure guys that your chain is not twisted. So now we're going to chain one. And make half double crochet on the very first stitch. Like so and also half double crochet on the following stitches. So we need five rows of half double crochet using our white. So go ahead and make 5 rows of half double crochet. So I'm almost finished on my 5th row. So now I'm just gonna make a slip stitch to finish this row. Chain 1 and we're going to cut our yarn. So you should have something like this. So now we're gonna change color. So now we are ready to attach our second color. Make a slip stitch and chain one. And also go back on the same stitch and make half double crochet. And also half double crochet on the following stitches. So for this color guys, we need 6 rows of half double crochet. So go ahead guys and make 6 rows of half double crochet using your second color. So to finish this row, I'm just going to make a slip stitch, chain 1 and cut the yarn. So you should have something like this. And then now you're gonna change your color, you're gonna put white for the next color and you're gonna make 6 rows of half double crochet using the white. 
and then you're gonna keep going until you get your desired length and then I'm gonna show you what I have here so this is what I have guys I have here in total one two three four five six seven eight nine and the length of this one is 12 and a half inches by 15 inches so now we're gonna start working on our waistband so we're going to attach our yarn and make a slip stitch so we're using now our 2.5 millimeter crochet hook chain 3 1 2 3 and put one double crochet each stitches all the way to the end so just one double crochet guys each stitches as you can see I'm tacking the the yarn so we don't have to sew it later So keep going guys and make double crochet each stitches and I will meet you after you finish this row. So to finish this row, I'm just gonna make a slip stitch. Now chain three to start our next row. And at this point, we're gonna start making front post and back post. So for front post, we're gonna yarn over, put our hook under the double crochet, like so. Pull through. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's the front post. So for the back post, we're gonna yarn over, put our hook in between these two double crochet, push the double crochet backward, like so, pull through. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's our back post. So again, we're gonna make front post, back post put your hook again push the double crochet backwards pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again front post back post Front post, and back post. So we're just gonna keep going and finish this row, making front post and back post. So this is what it looks like guys. So you're just gonna keep going making front post and back post and then I will meet you for the third row. So 
So again I'm gonna finish this row by making a slip stitch. And to start another row we're going to chain 3. And because this is a front post we're gonna do a front post. So if it's front post we're gonna do front post. If it's back post we're gonna do back post. So as you can see guys, you can see the difference between front pose and back pose. So again for this row, we're just going to follow the stitches from the previous row. So if it's front pose, we're going to make front post. If it's back post, we're going to make back post. So you're gonna just keep making row guys until you get the right thickness of the waistband that you want and then I will meet you for the next step. So now to finish this row we're going to make a slip stitch on the first three chain that we've done. then chain one to cut our yarn so this is what it looks like after nine rows of front post and back post so I'm gonna measure it for you so the thickness of this waistband is Two inches so now guys we're gonna go on the bottom remember we made only five rows of white when we started so now we're going to flip it like that facing the back at the front and then we're gonna connect our yarn using our two millimeter crochet hook so from here onwards guys if you want to make a design on the edges it's up to you for me I'm just gonna make single crochet to have clean edges so I'm going to make a slip stitch chain one and one single crochet each stitches all around
So again, we're gonna finish it by making a slip stitch. Chain one and cut our yarn. So now we're just gonna sew it. So this is the outcome guys. If you have any question about this skirt, please let me know on the comment box below. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!